Hello, and welcome to this week's Hanzo Break, sponsored by me, Hanzo Gone. <laughs> it's important for any fighting game player to learn the monumental task of analyzing not only yourself, but others' playstyles. Today, we're going we're gonna to be taking a look at 801 Strider's match against Mago at CEO 2015. 801 Strider means Able, a character who has strong ground options and an almost oppressive mix-up game where he can force you into several disadvantageous situations using only his forward medium kit. Able wants to pressure the opponent by forcing these numerous mix-up options and then punishing the opponent heavily for making the wrong read. 801 Strider is the most successful Able because he has incredible punishes and adapts better than most other Able. Let's look at some cold hard statistics to show how 801 Strider adjusted and defeated Mago at CEO 2015. In the match against Mago, it was looking free for Mago, winning 4 straight rounds dominantly. But at game 3, 801 Strider started to turn things around and eventually won the set. Let's see how. In match 1 and 2, 801 Strider anti-aired Mago 0 times, which allowed Mago to impose his air options and pressure 801 Strider heavily, leading to a barrage of mix-ups that Strider could not deal with. In the next 3 matches, 801 starts to anti-air Mago, only a total of 8 times in 8 rounds. But that sparse amount of anti-airs allowed 801 to start imposing his ground game with his forward medium kick. In the first two matches, 801 Strider only did 10 forward medium kicks, hitting only 3 total. But in the next 3 matches, with Mago staying grounded more often, he was able to do 36 forward medium kicks, averaging 5 per round. With this ground pressure being imposed, it allowed 801 Strider to mix up and ultimately defeat Mago. A textbook example how adaptation can allow you to win in Street Fighter 4. He also showed how bro power can power you up. And now for the Mike Ross fact of the day, sure thing. Okay, Mike Ross faced off against Mago in a first to five at TGS 2014. Mike had an impressive 40% command grab success rate, but also had an equally impressive 0% success rate at connecting a normal after meat squisher. Like, it's not really that hard to do. I don't know how he didn't do it. He also got stunned so many times, I lost count. Mike lost 5-3 and everyone learned that Mike's Hugo sucks. Back to you, Mike. <laughs>